Welcome to the rocket profile of the GSLV Mark III, India's most powerful launch vehicle to date. The initial stage of the rocket is the two S200 solid rocket motors. The core stage engines do not ignite on the ground. The boosters each develop a peak vacuum thrust of 5,150 kN and burn HTPB, hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene, for 2 minutes and 10 seconds. The specific impulse for the boosters is 274.5 seconds in vacuum. As of all boosters used in this role, the S200s have thrust vector control. Eventually, the thrust on the boosters begins to trail off, and once they hit a certain level, the core stage engines ignite. The core L110 stage consists of two Vickus engines, and variants of that can also be found on the second stage of the PSLV and the GSLV Mark II, as well as the GSLV Mark II's boosters. The particular variant on the most recent launch of the GSLV Mark III is the HPVE-1, and it uses UDMH, which is unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine, as well as nitrogen tetroxide to develop 805.6 kN of thrust at sea level, with a specific impulse at sea level of 282.9 seconds. The stage burns for 3 minutes and 23 seconds, including some time while the boosters are still running. GSLV stands for Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle, so the thrust to weight ratios for the rocket are optimized for delivery to high orbits rather than low Earth orbit, but its upper stage boasts a higher thrust than the single stage Centaur or the upper stage of Ariane 5. Its payload to low Earth orbit is 10 tons, while it can put 4.5 tons on a geosynchronous transfer orbit. The upper stage of the rocket is known as C-25, and it uses the CE-20 cryogenic engine, burning liquid hydrogen and oxygen at anywhere between 180 and 220 kN vacuum thrust for at most 11 minutes and 5 seconds. The ISP of the engine in vacuum is 448.6 seconds. The GSLV Mark III has had three launches with a functioning upper stage, with the first two being demonstration launches with geosynchronous communication satellites, and then the first operational flight occurring in 2019 with the launch of the Chandrayaan-2 lunar orbiter and lander mission. It is expected to carry an improved version of the Chandrayaan-2, as well as India's crew module, the Gaganyan spacecraft, in the near future. With that, thank you for watching this rocket profile of GSLV Mark III.